This week on the show, we have the founder of Son of James Cosmetics, Jameson Gardner. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that your self-concept dictates how the world perceives you. Our self-concept is how we view ourselves. It's what we think we are capable of, how we think and what we think we deserve. When our self-concept is rooted in confidence and a feeling of worthiness, we are able to align with people and circumstances that mirror that belief. On the other hand, when our self-concept is low, then we constantly find ourselves in situations that mirror our lack of faith in ourselves and our abilities. So how can we change our self-concept to ensure we are always honoring ourselves in the best way possible? This boils down to committing to self-improvement. My favorite way to improve this is daily affirmations. Daily affirmations reprogram our subconscious mind and train our minds to work for us rather than against us. Make your mission today to commit to improving your self-concept daily and watch how the lens you see yourself becomes one of love, gratitude, and absolute worthiness. As Maxwell Maltz quotes, low self-esteem is like driving through life with your handbrake on. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, I want to talk about your hot sauce filler gloss. I'm wearing it right now and I know that you have some exciting news that you guys are going to be in Kelly Clarkson's Holiday Guide. So, so tell us about that oh. milestone. Just really lucky. I, I don't even know any other way to describe it. We we sampled everybody that was interested in it when i first started in the beauty business gratis have you ever heard that term before yes <laughs> that, that was a huge thing and now nobody wants to give away anything and i was like let's put it out there to as many people as we can get them to try it get it on their lips um and it, it's ironic I, I worked on american idol and it's oh, it's wow. it's really ironic that the first major thing that hit us was, was that. Um, it just kind of blows my mind, to be honest with you. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have Jameson Gardner, the founder of Son of James Cosmetics, an emerging cosmetics company with a focus on uplifting artists. Introducing Hot Sauce Filler Gloss, the ultimate lip plumper by Son of James. Get irresistibly fuller lips without the pain. One application for the timid, Two, for the daring. Just dampen your lips and let the magic happen. We spent years developing the perfect lip plumper, and now it's here, ready to revolutionize your lip game. Our innovative fusion of heat, hyaluronic acid, and castor oil lifts your lips to new levels of plumpness and hydration, giving you the confidence to shine. Hot Sauce Filler Gloss is the first lip plumper that actually works. The effects last for hours, not minutes. It's time to turn heads. Try Hot Sauce Filler Gloss today and experience the difference for yourself. James, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm doing awesome. Well, thank you for being here. I love your lip gloss. We're going to get into your brand, Son of James Cosmetics, in just a second. But let's talk about your background. I know you're a makeup artist, hairstylist, salon owner. So what led you to create nope. Son of James? This is my third attempt to do a makeup line. So I, it's something I've always wanted to do, something that I've always enjoyed. Um, it's a long path. I, I don't think we have enough time to go over the whole thing. <laughs> but. It, I had three three wishes in, in my career. One was to be a television makeup artist. One was to own my own salon, which I had two of those. And one one was to own my own beauty line. So everything is kind of un, unfair, un, you know, laid out naturally. Mm -hmm. And I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, all three wishes have come true. I love your brand. And there's some exciting news also coming up with that. But before we get into that, I also want to talk about one thing that sticks out about the name is obviously Son of James Cosmetics. So tell us about the symbolism or the message behind it. So my name Jameson means Son of James and oh, that was okay. the parent company for my, my salons were called Tulu Color Salon and the, the parent company was Son of James and my longtime friend and business partner Candace Collins, she just loved the brand and I already had a 
trademark, so we we decided to that that's what we would call the cosmetic line. Very nice. And one thing that your brand always talks about is uplifting artists, emerging artists. So tell us about that message and the importance for you. So that plays really well into what we're looking for right now, which are influencers such as yourself. We are um, we're looking for influencers. And I think when you think of an influencer, you think of like this particular person or image in your head. And I really, that's not what we're really about. We want to see all types of people influencing the line and, and putting it out there. I, I would I would love to have a 75-year-old a influencer or maybe someone that's uh, wheelchair bound or someone that is um, maybe trans and not really ready to go into the workforce but wants to make some extra money and we have a, a great affiliate program that we're working on as well so that's that's pretty much what i say when like uplifting artistry is uh appealing to all types of people because that's that's who i want buying the brand everybody yeah i think that's very important is that you know that you cater to everyone i think a lot of brands just cater to specific people but the brands that are the biggest out there cater to everyone so i like that and you also talk about redefining beauty standards um let's talk about that messaging you spoke a little bit about it don't you think it, we live in probably such a cool time where you know we can my logo for my salons was uh finding the beauty in everything and I think, you know, everybody's got their own story to tell, their own their own brand, their own beauty. And we we want to be a part of that. We want people to, you know, feel welcome to this this line. And and I feel like now with makeup, it's it's expensive. It's an investment. If you invest in it, you should invest in it for life and, and stick with the brand and grow with it. And that was really where that whole idea came from. And I'm curious, how did you get into this industry? When did you realize the passion for beauty? You know, I always liked it. I always found it fascinating. Had no idea that I would that I would do it professionally. It just kind of it, it just happened, and it was. Have you ever? Uh, well, you're in media, so media has worked for you. Obviously, you're doing all these different projects, but everything that I've done in it just clicked and that's the only way i can really describe it i and i i liked it and i enjoyed it but never imagined that i would that I, that it would be a lifelong career when i first started very nice i mean that's the beauty of following your passion and doing what you really want to do because somehow you will find a way to make it happen right you'll have the determination right. because you have the passion so so i love that i think if you if you stick in your field and you reinvent yourself it it makes it exciting you know you're not just stuck in the same day-to-day -day grind if i was still you know owned my salons i feel like i was i was done you know that chapter was closed and it was time to open something new absolutely yeah you have to keep evolving growing because that makes life exciting right if you stay in the same place yep. it's it's not exciting and the whole point of living is to evolve right so yeah, yeah. i i completely understand and, and speaking about that i want to talk about your hot sauce Filler Gloss, I'm wearing it right now, and I know that you have some exciting news that you guys are going to be in Kelly Clarkson's Holiday Guide. So so tell us about that yeah. milestone. Just really lucky. I, I don't even know any other way to describe it. We, we sampled everybody that was interested in it. When I first started in the beauty business, gratis, have you ever heard that term before? Yes. <laughs> that, that was a huge thing and now nobody wants to give away anything and I was like let's put it out there to as many people as we can get them to try it get it on their lips um, and it, it's ironic I, I worked on American Idol and it's oh, wow. it's it's really ironic that the first major thing that hit us was, was that um, it just kind of blows my mind to be honest with you that's amazing. I love Kelly Clarkson. I remember watching her win American Idol and she's such a great singer. It's such a great brand, a feel good show. So congratulations, James. That's uh, that's great news. <laughs> yeah, I met her one time. It was a I I worked on the second season. So I met her when she came back to launch her album at the finale. And but that was pretty much it. So I was really shocked when the uh, the people that sent me the email said they were interested in, in including us in that. They're they're doing all of those gift guides for the holidays now. That this is the time of the year that they put all that stuff together. Mm -hmm.
And let's talk about the Hot Sauce Filler Gloss. Tell us what it does for the lips. Well, I'm proud to say there's really nothing like it on the market. It's um, taken three years to develop. Um, myself and Candace Collins, she's a product developer that I know from my days working at Fred Siegel in Los Angeles. And it's there isn't anything like it on the market as far as like the level of heat. And that was why I was when you were when you before we came on, we were talking, you said it, it's really spicy. I wanted it to be stronger than most so that the client can control that. And what we're we're working on is a buffer bomb that you put on first for people who maybe can't handle it that intense. But we wanted the client to have the option to be able to say, yeah, I like it hotter. So I'm going to I'm going to go straight into it. And then there are people who maybe need to put something under it, like a lipstick or a lip gloss. That'll kind of cut it. I love the sensation. I feel like, you know, it's working, right? You feel the tingle. So, you know, it's working. So I like it. And I think it's a great alternative for both instead of Botox, right? You have a gloss, you can just put it on. And uh, right. I also like the smell. The fragrance is very nice. T talk to us about the fragrance. So I'm a technical personality, uh, even though I'm a I'm ar artistic, I have more of a technical brain. So I, I came up with a lot of the active ingredients in this product. And the first like couple of renditions, Candace was like, I loved it. I was like, it works, you know, we're done. And she was like, there is no woman in the world that is going to put this on their lips. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. she goes, it smells so medicinal. So I, I, I attribute that her in the lab, they just kept going back and forth, tweaking the ingredients because it has um, capsaicin, obviously, you feel that as soon as you put it on, but it has black pepper, it has ginger, oh. it has oregano oil. The oregano, I, I love that because it just goes on for like an hour. It'll keep tingling. So there's all kinds of cool things in there. And, and we patented the formula once we got done with it because I knew we had a rock star. It was totally different. Very nice. What was it being like uh, being in the lab and creating the product and seeing it you know, from scratch and now come to fruition. I mean, you've hit a big goal being by being on the Kelly Clarkson show. <laughs> it's uh, pretty surreal um, to, to even see something you've dreamed of come to life. Um, I, again, I think we live in a really great time. If you want to, to launch a product, there's so many resources out there that can help you. And the lab is exactly that. When you go in to create something, they're not artistic, they're not creative, but they're technical and they know what's safe. And that's really, you know, what you want is someone that can get behind it and make sure that this product is something that the public can use and not not feel, you know, like they're they're putting something dangerous on their body. It's all natural ingredients. It's um it, it's a really really it's a win for everybody. Yeah, I like that because there are so many products out there that have so many chemicals. You're afraid to try it because you don't know what it's doing for your health, right? So I love to hear uh, natural Thanks. ingredients. I think that's a, a big time seller for a lot of people. And what other products do you have in the Son of James Cosmetics line or upcoming products that are coming out? So we're going to expand the uh, son, the hot sauce family. We, we have hot stick we're working on with a, a chemist right now. And that's a, a stick version. It doesn't have any pigment. It doesn't have any shimmer. And it, it, it's it's actually like a like a lipstick. And it will give you the same effect, same and same like active ingredients. And then I want to do hot sauce super gloss, which yeah. is kind of like a play on the old '90s. You know, when everybody loved really shiny lips. Yeah. I think that that it's time for us to get back into shiny because it's been matte now for a long time. Absolutely. That's funny because, you know, a few years ago, I was obsessed with matte lipsticks or even uh, liquid lipsticks. And now I would say this is my shiny gloss era <laughs> where I am just wearing shiny glosses. It's great for the summer. It keeps your lips moisturized. And I feel like it really stands out right on the lip. Yeah, I agree 110 percent. I, I was the same way with mattes. I love like for photography mm -hmm. as a makeup artist, I still reach for a matte lipstick all the time. But when you want to have fun and look cool and, and or go out, there's nothing better than shiny. Yeah, and who would be your dream collab to work with? Oh, God, I've been in this business a long time. So, but I would say right now, 
uh, Jeffree Star. I love Ooh, his brand. Yeah. Have you, have you tried his stuff? It's really cool. I do, and I like him as well. He has a lot of personality. I love Jeffree Star. Yeah, we're putting it out there in the universe to make it happen yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but I, I'm, you know, I'm a considerably old to even know who he is. And I, we had a fashion show at my salon, and some of the young stylists. They all had his palettes, and they were like, "You have to try this." And I just couldn't get over the pigment. Really intense. It's it's high quality, and that's not something like we could have white labeled this. We could have just went to a lab and did twenty or thirty different products and just slapped our name on it. But I was like, "No, I want something that is going to stand out." I've been in this business for twenty five years. I'm not going to just throw something against the wall and hope it sticks. I, I really wanted it to be unique, and I, I think. Has the same care. I love that. You know, it's quality over quantity, right? I like that. It's right. personalized and it, it comes with your experience, right? Being in this industry. So I, I love that. And, you know, James, I created my platform to inspire, uplift, and, you know, to help other entrepreneurs as well. We have a lot of celebrity guests, but we have a lot of businesses on our show as well. What advice would you have for someone that wants to create a brand that has a vision for creating a brand, but is afraid to take the next step in doing so? Well, I would say, like I've done it three times myself, uh, or tried to, this is the first time that it really stuck. I'd say do not let the paperwork overwhelm you. I'm not a paperwork kind of person, you know, and I remember thinking, oh my God, I've never filled out so many forms. I feel like I'm applying to go to Harvard or something. But you, you just have to, you just don't let it intimidate you and keep it going. And, and you have to be your, your own cheerleader. You have to constantly talk about your brand because if you're not touting it, no, nobody else is going to do that for you. That is very true. I completely agree. You have to be your biggest cheerleader in anything that you do, right? You have to believe in you before anyone else believes in you. Actually, that's part of the intro of my show today is that, you know, when you have a great concept, self-concept, it reflects into the world. And that's how people treat you because you believe in you. People have no choice but to believe in you. So I think that's uh, that's great advice. It, it hit the nail on the head. <laughs> and, yeah. and what's the best advice someone ever gave you in your career that kind of stuck with you? You know, I, when I was very young, I worked for a famous makeup artist for a minute named Eugenia Weston. She did um, Bette Midler's makeup. And she she only spent a day with me, and I'll never forget it. It, it was very impactful. Um, but she she told me to study the the masters. She's like, "Do you know who Way Bandy is?" And at the time, I didn't. I was like 25 years old, and I'm like, "No." And she's like, "Well, you need to." I knew who Kevin Aquan and like the people of my time were at that time, but I I really started studying like Max Factor and Way Bandy, and you know some of the people that really pioneered makeup and. Uh, I think that you, you got to go back to the basics. I, I, crack a book. Don't just Google everything. Absolutely. Yeah. You have to research this business. You got to see what works, yeah. but you have to do it your own way, which, you know, which pave your own path, but learn from the best. I think that's uh, great advice. And for our viewers that want to purchase Son of James products, including your lip gloss, where can they do so? Go to sonofjamescosmetics.com. And um, also, we're looking for influencers at this time we've, we've done a big blitz where we mail out a bunch of lip gloss to people that are like publicity people and producers and and people that are buyers for stores and things like that but right now we're looking for influencers so we have a great affiliate program as well just send us an email which all of that is on the website as well very nice well james thank you so much for being on the show i'm excited to see what else is in store for you and the son of james cosmetic line and uh thank you for being on the show Thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.